Hello everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will learn about Excel worksheet. Before we begin, make sure that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, let's get started with our one point agenda that is Excel worksheet. Now, let's get back to the practical mode. Now, we are on our Excel sheet. Now, what are we going to do in this particular sheet? So basically, we can have multiple operations on Excel worksheet. To do so, you just have to navigate to the Excel sheet over here and just right click on it and you'll get to know many options that are provided to work with on Excel sheets. You can either insert a new sheet or delete an existing sheet or rename an existing sheet. And in case if you wanted to move or copy your existing sheet, you can also do that. And if you want to view some particular codes, you can do that. And in case if your data is highly sensitive, then you can also secure it. And there is an also an option of changing the tab color or hiding your sheet and selecting all sheets in your workbook. Don't worry, we shall go through all the fundamentals one after the other. At first, we will select to insert a new sheet. Now, Let's click on the insert button to insert a new sheet. Now, when you click that particular icon, you'll have various set of options. Inside that, you'll have worksheet, chart, MS Excel 4.0, macro, etc. But right now, we are in need of a new worksheet. So, I'll select the worksheet and just press OK to get a new sheet. And you can see, we have a new sheet in front of the sheet 1, which was the previously existing sheet. Now, let's go through another option, which is to delete an existing sheet. You can do that just by selecting the delete icon, and there you go. You can see that our newly created sheet just got deleted. Now, the next option. Let's try to rename this particular sheet. Okay, so you just have to right click and select the rename option, and there you go. Here you can see that our sheet one has been highlighted. And now we are capable to do the operation of renaming this particular sheet. Let's rename this sheet as Excel Sheet 1. Now you can also click this particular plus icon to create a new sheet and we'll have a new sheet. And instead of right clicking and going to the rename option, you have another shortcut where you can just double click on the sheet name and the sheet name can be renamed. So now let's rename this as Excel sheet 2. That's how you do it. Now let's create a couple of more sheets. There you go, we have five Excel sheets. Now let's see what can be done. So now if we want to move the Excel sheet one to a new workbook, then we can do that. Just select the sheet, select the move or copy icon, and there you go, we have various set of options here. Now it is asking for a book. We already have a book one, or if we wanted to move this particular sheet inside this particular workbook or copy the sheet inside this workbook and paste it in the same workbook then you have to choose the option of book one or in case if you wanted to create a new book then you have to select the new book option and then if you don't want this sheet to be cut or eliminated from this workbook then you can select the create a copy option which will save your copy from the existing worksheet and it will only send a copy of your worksheet but not it will not cut the worksheet so that's the uh, option provided by excel now let's click ok and you can see that we have a new workbook over here named as book 2 and the sheet excel sheet 1 from the workbook 1 has been copied to workbook 2 that's how you copy an existing worksheet into a new workbook for now let's get back to the older workbook that is book 1 now Let's try to copy the existing worksheet into the same existing workbook. For that, let's select the worksheet and right click on it. 
and now you can see the move or copy option so we have chosen the same book one over here now let's create a copy and select ok and there you go you can see that we have a duplicate copy of excel worksheet one in the bracket two now let's delete this or let's keep it we will try to perform a move operation now now let's choose the book as two and now we are not going to select the create a copy option so now the entire sheet will be cut and pasted into the workbook too let's press ok and there you go the sheet got eliminated and it got pasted in this particular book too so that's how you move it and now let's look on to the other operations let's now try to change the tab color now we have five different excel sheets so let's select five different colors for each one of them let's select black for this and for this let's select blue and for this let's select orange and for this green and this one would be purple yeah so there we go we have five different colors for all the five different sheets now let's try to hide sheet one so there you go the sheet one has got hidden and then let's try to hide the sheet four sheet three as well so the sheet number three got hidden and if you want to unhide them just right click and select unhide and there you go you have a dialog box which shows you the hidden sheets for now let's try to unhide sheet number one now we got our sheet number one back and again the sheet three we got our sheet three also back now let's select all the sheets together for that let's hold control shift or let's hold control and select all the sheets yeah there you go we have now selected all the sheets now let us imagine that we are going to store similar type of data in all the sheets for example let us consider in the sheet number one we are going to store the details of students of class one similarly in sheet two we'll store the details of class two and three and so on now for that you might have similar columns right so instead of uh, individually naming all the sheets you can do this trick where you can just collect or group all the sheets together and write the same data in all of them at once now i have selected all the sheets let's type in the names row number now the next one is name then now percentage Um, it can be written address, phone number. Yeah, that should be good. Yeah, now we have collected all the sheets together and we have edited the data in one sheet and magically. All the sheets have the same data. Okay, there has been a small error. We have chosen the last part of the sheet that was XDM, so it was the last or final columns. Now let's try to do that again. Now let's select the sheet 1 to 5, and now we're in the first column. Let's try to do that again. Roll number, then the name percentage and uh, address and phone so you can see that we have the name called as group which resembles that these sheets of one to five are a group now so we have given our column names
So we have written the column names, roll number, name, percentage, address, and phone in one sheet, and magically it's been added to all the sheets. Now we will navigate to all the sheets. So the first sheet, then the second sheet, then we have the third sheet, fourth, and fifth. So all the sheets have got the same data which we try to enter in one single sheet. Now the next step is to try to protect your sheet. So uh, how to know the difference? Now let's try to edit this, right? So you can edit this roll number to roll number, right? Now what if I protect the sheet? Like sometimes the information might be sensitive, right? And we don't want anyone to be messing up with your data. So in that situation, you can always protect your sheet. So for that, you just have to right click and there is an always an option called protect the sheet. Select that and you have this. And you can see uh, select locked cells and select unlocked cells. So uh, basically all the cells in Excel are by default locked. And uh, yeah. Basically, by selecting all the cells over here, you're not supposed to edit any one of those, but that is selecting. Select lock cells and select unlock cells. And press OK. And now your sheet is completely protected. How? Let's try. Now, let's try to edit this. And there you go. Excel throws an error which says the cell or chart you're trying to change is on a protected sheet. So, if you want to unprotect this, you can always do that. Just go to the sheet and unprotect it, and now you're again free to edit it. Right now, let's rename this, and there you go, it's done. So, that's how you do it. So, with that, we have come to an end of this tutorial on Excel worksheet. And if you have any queries regarding the concepts covered in this particular tutorial, then please feel free to write them down in the comment section below, and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.